Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Today kita masuk chapter baru iaitu chapter 6 on the plan layout. Okay. Plan layout is about the susun atur ataupun arrangement in the factory. Okay, learning objective for this topic, we uh, be able to determine some of the main reason for redesign layout. Kenapa factory berubahkan layout dia? Okay, why? And then, what are the major factors that need to be considered? Okay, bila dia nak menukar sesuatu layout dalam kilang, apa factor yang dia need to consider? Alright, sebab sangat penting supaya kita tak ada masalah nanti. And then we will learn about the basic types of layout. Ada tiga. And then we will do some calculation on line balancing. Okay, reason for redesigning layout. Why? Kenapa? Inefficient operation. Okay, inefficient. Uh, efficient operation. Bottleneck. Okay. For example, if the machine, okay, uh, working too slow ataupun... Banyak sangat demand, dia akan jadi bottleneck. So, bila berlaku kesesakan, maka kita perlu buat perubahan. Okay? Perubahan dalam layout kilang. Mungkin kita kena tambah mesin ataupun kita kena uh, besarkan lagi uh, kilang kita. Okay. Apabila berlaku too many accident or safety hazard lately. Okay. Uh, banyak report. Somebody... Tangan atau rambut dia masuk dalam mesin. Why? Okay, because before this, it never happened. But lately, it happening. So, maybe kawasan tu dah kecil. Mungkin pekerja ramai. So, you need more bigger spaces. So, you need to redesign. Okay. And introduction of new product or change of current product design. So, maybe... We have new, let's say for, for cake factory, we have new flavor for Hari Raya. So, we need to add more oven. Okay, so whenever there's a changes, sometimes we need to redesign our layout. Uh, this is the main important. Changes in volume, let's say your business have boom. So, customer semua nak beli barang you. So, you punya volume have increased double, sometimes triple. So, you need to put new machines, okay? You need to put, um, they have more inventory coming. So, of course, you need to change your design of layout, okay? And then change in process, okay? You tambah step or there's a new method uh, in the making of the product or new equipment you need to use. So, again, you need to redesign the layout, and finally, if there's a changes in environmental or legal requirement, let's say there's a requirement on the certain issues of the, um, let's say, safety of the machine, okay? So, the machine need to, to have bigger space. So, again, you need to redesign your layout, okay? Sebenarnya, it's not easy. Suka-suka je you boleh change the layout of the factory. Because if you change the layout, it means that production can stop. Production stop. Uh, and usually it won't, won't take sejam dua. Kalau kita nak buat perubahan. So maybe one or two weeks. Okay. So it going to cost a lot. So if the re reason is really, really perlu, then baru you change the layout. Okay. Now you nak change the layout. And these are the factors that you need to consider. Okay. It's not just like you decide to put here, there. No. There's, uh, there's always a factor that you need to consider. The first is the capacity and space requirement. Okay. Look at this uh, scenario here. It's quite crowded. Okay. Machine tak tersusun nampak. This is pathway orang jalan, pekerja jalan but suddenly there's something in the middle. This is not good. Okay. Should before you want to add more machine, if you want to add a new line, so you need to consider space. Is there any space anymore? Okay, if not, you need to move or you need to extend your factory. Okay, and everything need allowance means that uh, 
even a forklift okay it can go one way tapi kalau forklift nak u-turn they must have space allowance the for the forklift okay next selection of material handling equipment okay let's say if you, you nak letak robot or this is forklift so you need to make sure this uh, this apa tu decision must be considered bila you nak buat layout dia okay especially for robot you need a uh, lots of uh, space around dia bila dia bergerak dia akan takut dia berlaga okay so berlaga dengan ceiling berlaga dengan dinding dengan robot sebelah so make sure you consider the swing of the robot arm and same goes to the forklift AGV AGV maksud dia automated guided vehicles okay yang jalan sendiri kalau kita kat kilang tu kita nampak ada like a vehicles yang bawa barang dan dia jalan sendiri without any driver okay environmental and aesthetic okay especially the lighting kalau you nak nak redesign okay you need to consider the lighting sometimes you put tall machine okay very big machine and you need to consider is it the lighting true Sampai tak lighting tu kat orang bawah. Okay, sometimes you lupa. You want to put a big machine here, there. Okay, and then dia telah menutupi or melindungi lampu-lampu yang ada. Okay, temperature. If you have a machine that produce heat. ah, Okay, so you need to make sure the temperature is suitable untuk orang bekerja and comfortable. Flow of information. Arrangement. Okay, the best thing is... You have one uh, one way in and out. It means that dekat kilang tu dia tak ada patah balik ke belakang. So in and then terus out. The best thing is if you can flow it uh, without having it coming back. Okay, so flow information is very important bila you nak buat layout. Okay, mana pintu masuk, mana pintu keluar. Alright, next. Cost of moving between work areas. Okay, kalau jauh sangat, forklift akan jalan jauh lah. And it gonna cost you dari segi dia punya penggunaan forklift. So, you need to consider dekat sangat pun tak boleh. Jauh sangat pun tak boleh. So, you need to consider the distance. Supaya distance tu uh, doesn't cost you more. Okay. Alright, and the last one is the safety aspect. This is very important. Sometimes when we put new machines, the wiring you can consider, the ventilation you need to consider, and then you need to consider so many things when you uh, need to uh, rearrange the layout. Okay, especially safety aspect. Is it safe for people to walk next to the machine? If not, you have to put barrier. Okay, or you have to put more. Uh, spaces ok basic type of layout basic type of layout ni ada related dengan chapter 3 iaitu production method remember we have 3 production method in which the first one is the job shop and the second one is the batch and the third one is the mass ok now these 3 production method are linked to this layout ok we look at the first one process layout or the other name is functional layout or process oriented layout okay so remember this one it looks like the job shop production method right okay and then the second one is the product layout or product oriented layout okay it's a one way okay it's a like a assembly line all right and then the third one is quite unique. We call it fixed position layout in which the product is in the middle and all the resources going to the product. So there's no production line involved. Okay, let's look one by one. Okay, what is process layout? Process layout is mostly grouped together the same department. Okay, for example, uh, the, the characteristic high variety low volume is it similar as job shop yes so it couldn't produce a lot but it can give you many type right and 
the production method that suitable for process layout is job shop and batch because it give flexibility alright ah, ingat tak job shop and batch bagi flexibility and involve skilled workers but and then the advantages okay same also uh, with the job shop and batch iaitu high level work in progress throughput time is high maksudnya slow processing time and then the cost of material handling is high okay sebab dia banyak bergerak alright so example of process layout okay remember it based on the department so let's say it start from the uh, raw material and then pergi ke lathe pergi milling process the next drill grinding assembly Okay, so dia kena melalui semua proses, proses yang ada. Okay. Okay, next. The second uh, type of layout is product layout. Okay, dia punya keyword dia adalah sequence of operation. Paling senang nak ingat is the assembly line. Okay, buat kereta. Okay, uh, buat uh, mostly kilang yang high volume. Uh, okay, and setiap uh, type ada line dia sendiri. And mostly automated means that they use machine, they use, use robot, they use conveyor belt. Okay, compared to the process layout. And then, the punya pair for the production method is mass. So, product layout is, is for mass production ataupun repetitive production. See, that's the characteristic is variety dia tak tinggi tapi volume dia sangat-sangat tinggi it can produce like more than hundreds okay thousands right okay example of product layout okay it says usually it's a one way in and out macam proses tadi dia agak boleh patah balik tapi untuk product is one way dia tak akan patah balik and it must be in the sequence kena buat ni dulu boleh pergi sini dan pergi sini okay Okay, the final one, the fixed layout. Okay, the fixed layout ni tak ada kena-mengena dengan tiga method, production method tu. Dia on its own, it's special. Especially uh, untuk buat produk yang besar, okay? Because the product remain stationary. Produk dia tak bergerak. Uh, bulky, heavy, contohnya buat kapal, buat rumah, okay? Aircraft. Apa yang bergerak? Equipment, workers, material pergi ke yard. Okay, kat sini dia akan pergi semua. Okay, equipment kat sini. Okay, People, workers datang and then resources pun semua berkumpul kat sini. And the ship is won't go anywhere until it completed. Okay. Perlukan high skill workers and low equipment utilization. Maksud dia, okay, tengok this uh, crane eh. Dia takkan bergerak selagi kapal ni tak habis. So, Pakai ke tak pakai, it will be here. Right? So, maksud dia low equipment utilization. Kalau tak pakai pun, dia tak boleh gerakkan ke tempat lain. Alright, let's see some example. Okay, buat kapal dekat yard, ship yard. And then workers, okay, welders coming in, equipment, all the uh, cranes coming in, and then raw material, all the steel plate and tools. Okay, semua datang ke ship yard. Okay, that's all untuk basic of the layout, plan layout. So, next I will show you on the line balancing. Alright, so I see you again. Bye.